wasn't it something that people thought it's not possible or it's uh, do, doing, an, uh, doing a four channel CSCO training in one time, this is a lot of data. Yes. How does this really work? How can this work? Well, I'll ask, can you ride a bicycle? Well, I'll ask, can you ride a bicycle? <laughs> yes, I don't know. Okay. The amount of neuronal processing necessary to learn and perform a task like riding a bicycle is much greater than what's necessary in order to incorporate Z-scores in neural feedback training. The brain naturally absorbs large amounts of information and tries to bring it together. So we have simplified the feedback. The client is not inundated with lots and lots of data. They're given simple feedback mechanisms. And the brain is able to sort out the differences and changes to get rewards. And I'll make another important point. Our training is unique in that we do not force the system to fit into a certain category. We respect the fact that people will be individual and have individual differences. Our technology is unique. It has been patented by the US and um, several of our patents refer to our ability to integrate live EEG information with this type of statistical information. So an individual can retain their individual strengths while at the same time gaining flexibility and mental efficiency. Is there only one technique for doing ZSCO training or are there different or other techniques? There are various techniques. Different providers use different methods. We provide what I consider a family of techniques, um, which we've published and uh, patented. And these techniques are variously called PZOK uh, and Z Plus and uh, LZT, Live Z Score Training. And uh, the combination of these techniques gives the client a unique amount of uh, very positive information that the brain uses to self-organize. And uh, we put a lot of time into ensuring the clinical value of our techniques. Can you draw a line between the first days of C-score yes. training until what it is now? What, what is, is there a development? There's been a long development, yes. Z-score training began with one channel and one Z-score and uh, a way of reorienting the targets. It was not long before we began to do multiple channels and multiple Z-scores, and our current techniques use anywhere from hundreds to thousands of Z-scores, providing simple, intuitive types of feedback. And um, we continue to evolve different statistical methods to improve the quality of what the user experiences.